Krieger US dry packs have been a staple piece of luggage for riders for more than a decade. It is a constantly evolving range though, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a run through of the complete set, including the brand new US 40 rack pack. The US in the name obviously stands for universal system and the bike packs are designed with the flexibility to fit on practically any motorcycle. They also have the flexibility to be configured together, offering many, many different setups. The 5, 10, 20 and 30 are essentially the same design, but with some slight differences. The 5 has got the overstraps that you'll find on the OS bags, uh, but the 10, 20, 30 and 40 all have snap-in fixing straps but there's a difference to that bag as well and we'll get onto that a little bit later on. The bags have a very tough construction with the main material being 420D Cordura light fabric. It has a water repellent coating and is highly resistant to tearing, scuffs and general abrasion. All zips are YKK water resistant ones and every metal part is constructed from 6061 T6 aluminium. Hyperlon is used for added reinforcement as it's an incredibly strong and abrasion resistant synthetic rubber. All of these top of the line components mean that Krieger are happy to offer a 10 year guarantee on all of their packs. The main compartment is fitted with a tape seamed removable liner which has a roll top closure to ensure 100% waterproofness. It's a simple system, but it works fantastically well. The liner is white, so that you can easily find items inside. The back of the pack on the 5, 10, 20 and 30 features a mesh pocket to allow you to store wet items separately from the main compartment and a zipped additional pocket on the side for quick access to smaller items. Each US pack comes with a set of four subframe loops and four hook straps included. The US 20, 30 and 40 also come with a removable shoulder strap to make transporting to and from the bike easier. The 20 and 30 litre packs also have a waist strap in the box. So if you want to wear the bag courier style across one shoulder, you can put a waist strap around to help secure that when you're on the bike. And that's what these two extra little tabs are for in that mesh pocket in the back. It's an incredibly flexible system. So let's take a look at how it fits. The fixing is easy, the aluminium hooks on the straps hook through the four subframe loops and are then tightened down holding the pack in place. The beauty of this is that the straps can be adjusted to suit how full the pack is and it also makes it quick and easy to fit and remove. Either loosen and unhook the strap or leave the strap in place and click the quick clasp fixing from the top. This flexible fixing system means that the packs can also be combined not only with themselves but also with existing Krieger backpacks with a couple of exceptions. The subframe loops give the option to fit packs to many different bikes, but Krieger do also supply model specific fitting kits for those bikes that are difficult to attach the loop straps to. If you own a KTM adventure bike, you also have the option of fitting OS loops to the rear rack, which makes fitting the US packs even easier. There's also a US dry pack converter which allows the packs to be used as a tank bag. You have two straps that loop around the frame that fix the top of the pad. The back of the pad that the bag attaches to is a very soft rubber to help protect your tank. And then you've got two straps at the bottom which will run under the front seat and are held in place with a Velcro tab that comes in the kit. And once the converter is in place and secure, you can obviously strap any of the bags onto it in the same method that we've seen them going on the back. You can also put the OS bags on here as well. It should work with both bikes, but those with offset fuel caps might be a little bit tricky. But on a bike with a central fuel cap, the cutout here can be positioned so you can still open and close the fuel cap without any problems. You'll just have to undo two of the clips, flip the bag out of the way, open your fuel tank, fill it up, and away you go. The new US 40 rack pack is where things get a little bit different in the range, but in a good way. This pack has a double-ended roll top, which means its capacity is variable from 28 litres to 40 litres. Its dimensions mean that it's perfect for storing a tent, roll-up ground mats or sleeping bags. There's even a separate tunnel on the top to store tent poles. But if you don't need all of that space, roll up both ends and it becomes a handy 28 litre pack. The US 40 has a few more robust parts, such as the heavy-duty roll-top shields and a large hyperlon panel on the top. This panel houses a multitude of hooks and clips to enable you to mount either single or multiple Krieger packs. 
The US 40 pack comes as standard with extra long fixing straps. This means that it can be easily fixed to a rear rack without the need for using frame loops. The accessory cam straps can also be used to carry additional items. This is one tough cookie and I think it will be a reliable piece of luggage for all adventurers. It's also probably one of the most flexible parts in the range because if you have just this bag and nothing else, you can go right up to 40 litres, put all your camping stuff in it and ride away. And on days when you're not doing that, you can fold it up nice and small and just have it as a 28 litre tail bag on the bike. So as we've seen, the system is incredibly flexible, but how does it actually perform out there on the road? I've been trying out a couple of these packs over the last few months and I have to say the experience has been excellent. I fixed the US 30 pack to the tail end of my KTM 790 adventure for a weekend away earlier in the year and I could fit everything I needed in that pack for a two night break without having to cut back on anything at all. The weather proved to be terrible with constant rain for all of the journey up and some of the journey home and not one single drop of water got into the bag. Its contents were bone dry. I do have to be honest and say that the side pocket on the bag did feel a little bit damp. It didn't feel wet and nothing inside it got particularly wet, it just had that kind of damp feel. But to be fair, Krieger don't state that that pocket is waterproof, it is only water resistant. It's the main compartment that is guaranteed 100% waterproof. This stuff just works and keeps on working. Some people have commented that it's a little bit expensive but in my view, you get what you pay for. A 100% waterproof bag that you can fit on almost any bike. It comes with a 10 year guarantee and it's got lots of handy features. That sounds like pretty good value to me.